Every day, a hero is reborn. She finds herself, her voice, and her purpose. Not because life handed it to her freely, but because she chose to accept life's gift of grace bravely. Experience a global adventure with our Mineral Wash Cut-Off Sleeve T-Shirt, featuring a unique design inspired by cultures worldwide. Perfect for any occasion. Add it to your wardrobe today and join us on this epic world tour. All right, all right, all right. Hello, 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 First, I want to shout out, shout out, shout out to our sponsors today. Shoe Pound Customs, also known as Pound Customs. Definitely check them out. We have their website on the page right now. We're going to, let me drop the link. Let me drop the link for you guys. I'm over here playing. Shout out to Shoe Pound. Um, doing a lot of customizing. So if you're into customized clothes, as far as jeans, shirts, if you're exclusive and you want to be one of five people in the whole world to have a Pacific design, this is definitely the brand for you. So let, let me let me just put that commercial. We're going to go through their website a little bit because I'm going to have to shout out the sponsors first. Okay? Because that's where all the support comes from from the beginning. Okay? So check them out. Experience a global adventure with our Mineral Wash Cut-Off Sleeve T-Shirt, featuring a unique design inspired by cultures worldwide. Perfect for any occasion. Add it to your wardrobe today and join us on this epic world tour. All right, all right. ShoePoundCustoms.MySpotify.com. I'm going to put it in the chat. Make sure everybody know. And let me get myself back on the screen and stop playing. Hey, so you see what I'm rocking today? I got the Shoe Pound Custom shirt on. They have a lot on their website. Just want to show you. Definitely check it out. They got ones of ones. If you can't see it, I want to make sure I pull it up. Because I, lo I love these plaids. Like, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm feeling comfortable, stylish. Got my own little chuby dooby going on. So they got a lot of different colors, gray, blue. Check it out. Hold on. Why, why computer being weird? Let's go back. Hold on. I just went through all of that. I went through all of these. So check them out. They definitely got a lot to offer. Got a nice catalog. Also, if you want something customized for yourself, your own style, and you have something in mind, definitely hit him up. He's located on Instagram as well. Let me make sure that the uh, internet is doing well. Let's remove it and we'll put it back on. All right, all right. Get back on the screen. There we go. So if you want some customized handmade shirts, they have some. He also has some trending products. I love these hats. They sold out right now, but hopefully they come back and stop. I think we're having some issues with the internet, but I definitely wanted to show you these hats. And we about to get the broadcast started. I'm over here. I'm over here 
fasting in the ambience of good clothes. Should I have my, my uh get right music together? All right, check it out. These are my favorite hats right here, y'all. I didn't get to wear it because I need to wear it because it's not that cold out here right now. But if you want some customized jeans, definitely hit him up. Now, let's get our broadcast started, started, started. We have some hot topics for you tonight. Tonight, oh, my ears are hot topics for you tonight. Our hot topics is we're going to start with, uh, before we start with our hot topics, we're going to start with a warning. Okay, guys? Scam alert. Scam alert. Scam alert. Okay. And before we get this, we didn't even do our introduction. Did we do it? Did we do it? No. Let's get it. I'm over here playing. I'm sorry. Because you are that, you are capable, you are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be All right, all right. So let's get it because I'm over here playing with y'all. Now, let's get it started. Now, our first topic, we're actually going to start with a warning. We have a warning. There's a new scam going on. So parents, don't be alarmed. You know, I'm going to have to give you some type of warning. But the FBI criminals use spoofing to scam parents of Georgia college students. So if you have students that's in Georgia, this is a warning to you. Okay. So, hold on. What the same? Why are you going to go and do that? Now, this is the full article released April 27th, 2023. And this is Atlanta warning. FBI Atlanta is warning the public about a phone scam where individuals are posing as university or college law enforcement officials by calling potential victims regarding outstanding warrants or fines against their children and asking them for payment. The scammers are using spoofing law enforcement phone numbers along with the names, positions, and addresses of offices. The scams is largely target parents of graduate graduate or graduates of students of Georgia University. So Georgia University students and parents, this is a warning to you, okay? The following is a list of suspicious activity to look out for related to this scam. Call from local law enforcement stating the individual has fines for outstanding warrant. Calls from local law enforcement stating the court is holding the individual in contempt for failure to appear for jury duty. They don't call. They just put it. Uh, so you already know if they calling you, it ain't enough manpower for them to handle what they got to handle in court. They not calling. Okay. So if you read any, any call from the judge, you know that ain't them. Okay. Call from local law enforcement stating an individual has been placed under a gag order and is not allowed to speak with anyone else regarding that matter. Call from local law enforcement demanding you remain on the line until the bond is paid. Request for monetary gift cards, visa, green dot. Now, now you already know, guys. Guys, some common sense. Bank deposit and voucher purchases to clear court fines or avoid jail time. Request for videos or pictures of individuals conducting a personal strip search. <laughs> oh, my God. Of themselves to clear court fines or avoid jail time. Okay. Somebody going to be like, okay. We're going to get a discount. Let me stop. Don't judge me. You know how people are, okay? Okay. So, the FBI says if you receive a voicemail from local law enforcement demanding a call back, do not respond. Instead call, instead, call your local law enforcement department general phone number or go in person to verify the call. They like, what? Uh-uh. Do we got another, do we got another option? Because I don't think they're going to pick none of the above. 
Please remember, law enforcement will never call you if you have an arrest warrant for missing jury duty, nor will they ask you to send money for any reason, okay? So I just want y'all to take that in, in, in strive. You know, I'm gonna keep, I got to give y'all a warning over here. I love you guys. Let's go. Now, what we want to get into actually is the, uh, we're going to get into our celebrity gossip first, okay? And our celebrity gossip going to go right into the government. We, yes, to the government, okay? So let's start with Young Thug seeks bond for um, concerns for his health continue to grow. So you know that we're following these cases, and especially the ones that's taking place out here in Atlanta, because there's some funny business going on out here as far as the jail system, the way they treating prisoners, the way they upkeep in jails, and the procedures that happens in court is a little weird. So we've been going over that, talking about it, just kind of conversating, giving our little one-two. But uh, this was interesting to me. So I said, let me share it. Young Thug seeks bond as concerns for his health continue to grow. So this is Young Thug, Young Thug seeks bond. So let's listen. This is brought to you by HNHH News. I hope it ain't no music. Yeah, most likely it's music. So Young Thug, hold on. I has been through a lot over the last year. Wait, yee, let me go back. Okay, pause. Way okay. Young Thug has been uh through a lot over the last year. It was around this time in 2022 that triggered a gunner were that Thugger and Gunner, I'm sorry, were arrested on Rico charges. Okay. Keep playing, see what they gotta talk about. However, Gunner has since been released. And Young Thug's faith continued to be up in the air. Look at him. Stressed out. Just stressed. He's stressed. Can't be out there doing this crazy stuff. Okay. So overall, there has been a, con a con concentrated effort to get the legendary artist out of jail. So we already been watching what's been going on in court. There's been a concentrated effort to keep him in jail. And all the lawyers that's involved in this racketeering case allegedly in contempt. We just talked about that. And I, I love that amazing lawyer who handled that hard situation very, very humbly and, and smartly. And I just commend him. Okay. Because people could be in court. Not even, not just young thug, life in jeopardy in court. Everybody mess with that judge. Anybody going down. I'm making jokes because when I go into court, I pray that the judge don't act like that. We just going to pray on them. Okay? <laughs> they, ooh, no comment. So although Rico cases are incredibly hard to beat, moreover, he has sought bond on three separate occasions. Okay. Hold on. Each time the judge has said no, as they believe he is a flight risk. Over these past few weeks, the YSL RICO trial has continued to go on, and these have led to very long hours for the artists. As we heard when we've been going over that. Consequently, there are concerns that his health could be in jeopardy right now. He's stressed out, especially the way they act him. His attorney, Ben Still, is now asking for bond for the fourth time in the past year. All right. So this was brought to you by HNHH News. That was their take on it. Let's just read what they got to say before I give y'all my commentary because y'all know we have been following the trial. Actually watching it. I hope you guys are watching it. And watching the escapades and watching the boringness, everything. So we're gonna keep you posted, okay? We got after this, I'm actually gonna watch the one that played this week. I didn't get to watch the three hour, I think it's like three, four hour court hearing. So we're gonna start watching that tonight. So we can do probably a reaction on Wednesday, okay? If there's anything good going on. 
So Young Thug has been through a lot over the year, and it was around, as we say, 2002 that triggered the Gunner, uh, Trigger and Gunner were arrested for RICO charges. However, Gunner has since been released, and Young Thug faiths continue to be up in the air. Overall, there has been a concrete effort to get the legendary artist out of jail. Although RICO cases is incredibly hard to beat, moreover, he has sought for bond. Okay, so we read that over the past few weeks, YSL has been continued to go on. Um, this has led to a very long hours for the artist. So it says, consequently, there are concerns that his health could be in jeopardy right now. His attorney is, as we said, seeking bond for the fourth time this year. According to ABC News, he told the judge that he has previously put four compelling evidence without a doubt that can that conditions can be imposed which permit bond to be set so young thug remains on trial and this is a good picture of him he looked clean shout out to young thug when i'm watching the trial is is you know not easy to watch but you know i don't know what he did and what he did not do and just because you know some things are in trial i can't make judgment so all we're going to do is just talk about it okay so Mr. Williams is not at risk to commit a crime and has not is not at risk to flee the jurisdiction. And that that's what Bond is about, still told the outlet. With the long hours that Young Thug is being subjected to, he has been dealing with fatigue. Furthermore, there's a worry that he may not have all of his facilities as a the trial goes on. Faculty, he might have all of his faculties. I don't know what that means. The sleep deprivation argument could potentially be helpful for Thug's case. However, it remains to be seen what the judge will decide here. Now, what he going to say is that judge, okay? Watching that judge, mark my words. You know what he's going to say? He's going to say, well, if you're in jail and you're home, What's the difference of you having to get up four o'clock in the morning? Just because you release doesn't mean you don't need to be here. I bet you. I bet you. That judge, baby, I'm not judging. But I know, I, from, I'm getting to know him. So let's see what he says after this is like the fourth time that Young Thug tries to go up for Bond, okay? Every day, a hero is reborn. She finds herself her voice, and her purpose. Not because life handed it to her freely, but because she chose to accept life's gift of grace bravely. 